Okay, everybody, I figure since this is generally the time of year where we get the 100 plus degree temperatures for weeks on end, and this is about the time when the giant pumpkins come crashing to an end here in Kansas. And this year's not gonna doubt, uh, disappoint because we are right in the heart of, it's July 19th today, and we are right in the heart of all the heat. So figure what the heck, we'll give you a little pumpkin update on the entire garden. So here's the outside patch. Um, this here, we're looking at an 1883 Bayou, um, Baywatch, my bad. Uh, the plant itself is not big. <laughs> it's, it's gone through about everything. The fact that there's a pumpkin growing here I'd have to ask Doc what day it is. I don't know, 26 maybe, something like that, 27. Uh, it's the same age as his uh, outside plant, the um, clone plant. So whatever day his clone is, is the day that that pumpkin is. Uh, the plant itself has was out in the elements the entire time without any protection. And uh, it got hit by two hailstorms. It rolled its main vine. Actually, we'll go take, check out this main vine. Here's its plant right now. I don't know, maybe 500 square feet, maybe 400, something like that. Uh, the main vine is not big, but it's growing. The actual health of the plant is really decent. Um, the leaves, the new leaves are growing great. Uh, the main vine here, you can see, this was happened to, so it got hit by hail real bad and then the main vine rolled and we just let her go and I mean right now the health of it's really good. So the pumpkin right there, it's an orange color. Uh, you know, if it makes it the next 10 days, I might even let you see what it looks like. Then we go over here and from about right here that way, these here vines are all the 2195 tile. And uh, this one here is probably one of my biggest day, it's 31 today, but my day 30 measurement, it was probably my biggest outside day 30 measurement. Uh, the plant itself, I gave it a lot more since the poor Baywatch plant got tore up. I gave this one a lot more space. so. It's probably sitting on somewhere close to 800 to 1,000 square feet. If it would fill in everything, it would definitely be a 12, 1,300 square foot plant. So I have a couple of vines here, some weeds that I pulled that you can see are still growing. We got one there that kind of slowed down and we got another one over there that definitely slowed down. Another one right there when the pumpkin was taken off. Now. The pumpkin gets 30 days old i always notice the vines start to pick back up again so seeing the same thing here plant health itself is good um really good actually i'm very pleased with this one here and you can see there it is peeking through a little bit of a white pumpkin um but like i said it's a really nice shape my daughter thinks that this one here is her favorite one because it's a basketball well it's still the same roundness is a basketball it's definitely a lot bigger than that uh, the vines here took off a lot better it got hit by the same hailstorm but it didn't roll its main vine so uh, it's back there it looks good very healthy couple of leaves here I need to take go and take off uh, generally that's what happens the leaves themselves I love it it's a more of a compact leaf so it's very good. The plant is growing out real nice now. It's starting to take off here. We'll see what this heat does, but the vines slowed way up, you know, up until about day 30, uh, probably day 28 or so. The vines kind of stopped growing out in front of the plant, which is normal when you get a good pumpkin that is putting on, you know, 25, 30 pounds per day, whatever it is, 40 now, who knows and uh it definitely slows down the plant but now they'll take off i'll let it fill in this allocated space here and we'll just kind of see you can see the leaf health 
especially these later in life leaves after it kind of outgrew its little hailstorm issue are very good very big very healthy a uh, little bit of a leaf bloat going on right here uh nitrogen bloat which is normal um that's what you want though at the end of these leaves this is that's the look that you're going for at least so the plant health itself is very good pumpkin like i said one of the biggest ones that i've ever had outside so if it makes it through this next heat wave we'll even pull the covers off now we'll go inside I, before we do that i figure what the heck we're doing a full garden tour so as you can see there's my regular garden on the outside i grew up all of my pumpkin and giant watermelon plants on my southern side water it slopes down my slope runs from up at the shed and it slopes this way so it's got a gradual slope going to the entire thing so all of this here gets water that drains when it rains we actually had a five inch rain that right here this plant the reason why these stopped growing is they were sitting under water for over a day so it kind of slopes here but it kind of had a backward slope and this was completely underwater so it's starting to grow out of that we got some growth going on here but I, you know what am i hoping for on this one 500 to a thousand pounds somewhere in that range would be amazing it's got a nice orange shape just like all of the bay watches got so it's a very good orange shaped pumpkin anyways back to the watermelons this one here is off of my seed from last year or the year before. I am growing it in a traditional pattern as a pumpkin would be. So I have all of these vines growing this way and coming off of that. Now, the vine that this one grew off of was not the main vine. So I terminated the main vine. I took the vine that grew off of here, which was the third one. It's running this way. And off of that, I'm allowing all of its secondary growth everything else i am terminating so when these vines get to the edge i'm terminating this is the vine that grows right the next one next to the watermelon so just as i'm doing with my pumpkins i'm growing this vine here curling it around and i'm allowing it to have any secondary growth grow out of that some of the secondary growth i'll come and fill in some of these gaps that i have here uh, that is also a vine that's coming off of that i see a pumpkin and a watermelon in there that i need to get so i'll terminate that one the fruit itself is extremely long and heck i'll give you a little look see of this one here i have absolutely no idea what day this is i do not hand pollinate these bees do their thing so there you go kind of an idea of how big it is it's a very long fruit so we'll just have to see how it does Keep that girl covered up 24 7 and we come over here to the second one this plant is not as good it's got its main vine is right there i believe yep right there so that's where the main stem root started sorry the main one and then it's got its shoots coming off this side here did not fill in at all so i'm letting all of the growth from the watermelon which is on the main vine I'm just not real happy with this shape. So I might let another one grow, I don't know. So you can see it's got a kind of like a little bubble butt going on here. Not real happy with that one, but if we can get one to grow off of that, watermelons are whatever. If it grows, it grows. So I'm gonna let it fill in back here. So I don't know if we have any more watermelons coming on. I'm not seeing one there, not seeing one there, not seeing one there, so. You know, we'll probably just go run with that one. Anyways, into the greenhouse. Right. And as you've gotten custom to seeing, there she is. At night she glows. That's a nice pumpkin. And I have pollinated every single pumpkin that you see with this one here. So, um, you can't complain, obviously. The plant health itself is doing very well. We got a couple of leaves that are showing its age, which is not surprising. This is started on March 21st, so it's a very old pumpkin plant. Uh, we got a little bit of damage there from spray damage. I was misting with spray in it, and a few leaves there got damaged on the 2356 Mindy. This here is the 2261 uh, Schmidt. So a few leaves got damaged from some spray, but 
whatever. I'll cut them out if I have to. The plant itself, extremely healthy. This is the front side of the plant, looking great. It's gonna push me for the next month or two. And then hopefully it'll just hang on for maybe even a little bit longer. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to take this fruit. We will just take it wherever I feel like taking it. That's the great thing about growing in Kansas. It could be an Oklahoma fruit, could be an Iowa fruit, could be a Wisconsin fruit. Hell, it might even go to California. Might travel to Kentucky with this fruit just to beat old Scott and Jeff and uh, uh, Doc in their back door. Heck, that might be fun to do. But, uh, you know, who knows where this one is going to go. Tonight, we are also going to move it again. I moved it three days ago, and there you go. You got the big hook going on. So, day 62 or 3, I don't know what day. It, no, no, day 59 maybe. Yeah, day 59. So tomorrow's day 60, I believe. So, from day 50 to day 60, it has probably grown more in those days than what it has grown previous it picked up speed which is amazing so no complaints obviously uh the plant itself is great will we go bad possibly i mean it can definitely go bad i mean you can see the 2356 is showing a bunch of age back here the old half of its plant probably needs to be removed most of those leaves the front half of its plant is amazing uh the the plant looks great, but the heat, when it, once it starts setting in, which I've found, they age extremely fast and there's just nothing you can do about it. You try to water and then you get disease. So this year I have altered how I'm watering. I am watering the first half of the plant right here at 2.30 in the morning. And then I'm watering the next day. I don't water at all this part of the plant. And in the morning, the next day, I water this entire part of the plant. So only half of the plant gets watered a day. That's what I'm trying here this year. It's doing well. We're gonna hopefully keep the plant green for as long as we can. That's the goal. We'll go give you a little bit better look at the 2350. Better look at the 2356 plant. As I said, it's starting to show its age. This is what happened this last week in the heat. It just got hot. And I think I see a pumpkin back there. So, you know, we'll have to go remove that. Um, a lot of this probably just needs to be removed. It is what it is. It just is old. This part of the plant is green and healthy. Very good. So, you got to like that. In Kansas, I don't complain when some of the plant is really healthy. There's the fruit. I think we're getting close to day 45-ish or so. Um, it's an odd shape, but it's grown well. So there's no complaints on the fruit. It's getting longer and not tall. It started out tall and not long. So it's an oddball. <laughs> it's kind of doing whatever it wants to do. If I got 1500 out of this plant, I would be ecstatic. So we'll see what it ends up. Once again, I crossed the 2261 into this. So they, the chances that this one's gonna be long next year is really good. Gonna be probably a, got a bunch of ribs on it, which I like the ribs, and hopefully some of that color comes through on this one next year. I think this one would be a great one to, to grow. This here is number six pollination. So the fact that it's gotten to this size is awesome. I can't believe it got to this size. I'm, I'm ecstatic with where it's at. If it quit growing right now and I could get this to the end, I'd be dang happy with the size of this one here. But it's not done growing. So I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna clean up some of the leaves back here like I talked about. We'll get those cleaned up. I think there's a pumpkin back there I have to clean up. And then we'll kind of go from there. We'll just keep the plant alive. We'll keep the plant growing. We'll keep the fungicides and we'll keep pushing. That's what you gotta do this time of year. Best of luck, everybody. I know it was a long video, but it needed to be a long video. We needed a full garden tour. You got to see what we're doing. You got to see the good and the bad. Right now, it's good. Two, three weeks from now, it could be bad. So I figure what the heck, we'll give a very long one because maybe we won't have a video coming up in the next couple of weeks. 
Good luck, everybody. Keep growing them big.